Enrico Salvatore, can you tell us about the upcoming 5G Summit in Barcelona? 5G Summit is the event where you want to be to understand where 5G is and even more important where 5G will be. So we have uh, all the players from the industry, the operators, the OEMs, infrastructure vendors, uh, Qualcomm with our technology and product roadmap, regulators talking about uh, what has been done so far in 5G, but uh, this is more in our DNA, what is going to be in 5G, so what is going to happen in 2020 and moving forward. So this event is in Europe, it's about Europe, where's 5G in Europe? 5G in Europe, uh, because 5G is here, and Europe is a part of the leading pack of uh, countries, regions, launching 5G. So this is the reason why we decided to have it in Europe, because we have uh, many players that are active in the 5G and are contributing in uh, launching 5G in the European region. So Europe uh, in the second half of 19, launching in most of the countries with the all the operators, the 5G service, commercial service in the sub-6 band. And that's where we are today with the customer OEMs. Qualcomm is very proud to contribute in making available phones, smartphones and uh, test mobile to support all those launches in Europe. So that's why here is really happening 5G. And of course, all the regions will be represented because we have uh, from China, from Korea, from Japan, North America. So all will be here, but uh, having Europe uh, as a center for the uh, ongoing development of 5G is uh, where we think it was uh, the right way to be. Last year's event in Hong Kong was about upcoming 5G launches. Now it's for real. So the event last year was uh, in Hong Kong and we introduced the new products, new platform and uh, planning the path for the commercial launches around the world. So this year in Barcelona is uh, where we talk about uh, what has been already done and we will talk also about what will be done even more in the future. In Europe, for instance, uh, we are in Spain. Spain launched the service with Vodafone and we have the network up and running. But this is not just in Spain. We have uh, in UK, we have in Italy, we have in, in Switzerland, we have in more of the countries and Germany, of course, and uh, we are already in 5G. At the moment, 5G is very much focused on consumer launches. How do you expect the benefits of 5G to play through in the coming months and years? Uh, this definitely will be a subject of uh, our summit. Uh, what is the killer application for 5G in consumer for the mobile broadband? So we are talking about uh, AR, VR, we are talking about gaming, but we definitely think that the killer application for 5G is a coverage. So we need to focus, the operators have to focus in providing coverage in 5G because it's the precondition for setting the environment to have uh, new application and new services. And a final wide and open question, Enrico. What's the future for 5G? So next for 5G, uh, we covered about what is happening for consumer uh, uh, in, in 5G. But uh, 5G is a technology that is bridging new industry segment to the mobile connectivity. So automotive, first of all, and IoT, industrial IoT. This is also the reason why Europe is important for the 5G phase we are. Because in Europe we have uh, automakers, that are embracing innovation in connectivity with the 5G, moving to the direction of autonomous driving. We have uh, uh, industrial automation players that are working hard to the digital transformation of the factories, manufacturing facilities, and they are looking to 5G how to achieve that. And we are contributing, working with them on this phase. So this is why next will be uh, expanding, bridging the mobile technology from the classic mobile broadband uh, environment consumer to automotive, to IoT, here with the European players, but globally. So in summary, I think uh, if you want to know where is 5G today and where it will be in 2020 and moving forward, you want to be in Barcelona. That's the summit where you will get all the information about the status. I think uh, from Barcelona we can say hola or maybe I should say ciao.